All right, we're with Gallo Mama Moba. They just call him G. I think I'm going with G too. Yeah. <laughs> You're a running back here at Lackawanna, and yes, there's always been a talented running back, or so it seems, at Lackawanna. Uh, let's talk about big guy, as far as, you know, solid muscle there, about six foot, 220 or so. Yeah. Uh, talk a little bit about what you feel like you bring to the table as a running back. Well, I feel like I could bring, like, if we're in like a situation where it's like third and short, like I'll be able to get them a few extra yards, or I could even break one if I, if I need to. Like I'm, I'm good for like everything on the field, but mostly for them short yards. How about speed-wise? Do you feel like okay, I do have speed that I could put it away, or you know, deceiving, whatever you would call it. Like yeah. what, what kind of speed would you say you have? Yeah, I think that like usually when people like see me, they don't think I'm like fast, but like I can like get into the, like that extra gear and really pull off on defensive players. And like, yeah. Let's talk about credit to the offensive line and they grow them yeah. big at Lackawanna. Mm -hmm. I'm sure this is no different year. You still have some big monsters up yeah. front. Yeah, I gave all my credit to my old line because without them, I wouldn't be able to like have the runs that I have. So they get all the credit for sure. Let's talk about this team this year. You guys are playing some of the best competition in the country, hanging yeah. right there with them. Mm -hmm. uh, and you guys still have some more to prove the last several weeks of the season. But yeah. you feel like, you know, you guys are kind of knocking on the door to have a special season and end it the right way? Yeah, I think we do. Um, we had like like our first like few um, competitions we had with like the nationally ranked players. Like it were close games, like margin by like eight points. So like, we just got to get rid of some of the mistakes, but I think that if we were to play them again, that we could definitely, the game would definitely be different. Let's talk about how you first heard about Lackawanna College and Coach Mark Duda. Yeah, uh, my head coach, um, I played for Pensbury High School. Uh, my head coach, uh, Dylan Snyder, Galen Snyder, Snyder, he told me about um, Lackawanna, and like, I never really had the best grades in high school, so that was kind of like the only thing I had like to fall back on. So, yeah. Let's talk about the structure, the consistency, the routine, and now, you know, it all kind of stars kind of all line up. Yeah. Talk about kind of learning a little bit more about yourself. Like, oh, wait, I got to get up at five in the morning. And hey, yeah. wait a minute, I got to go to class from 10 to what? You know, mm -hmm. talk a little bit about, you know, learning about yourself and thinking, I, I can't do that, but you're doing it. <laughs> yeah. Um, when I first got here, it was definitely a huge change, like just waking up and going straight to practicing. Like in high school, it was never like that. It was in the afternoon we practiced, but I think it's for the better. Like waking up that early, getting my day started early, like it just feels a lot better. I'm sure early you're questioning yourself. Mm -hmm. What am I doing here? I'm gonna go back home. I'm sleeping in. Whatever that that is. Was there a day or something that kind of hit you? And you're like, you know, whether you got to get pulled out of bed or Coach Duda had to get after you. Yeah. Was there any of those days, or you kind of just? fell in line and it worked out for you? Well, I, th I think I fell in line. Like, I never had a day where I just didn't want to get out of bed, I just didn't get out of bed. I kind of always forced myself to get up because like this means a lot to me. So I have to like put in the effort and the work to be better. How about your teammates, guys from all over the place? You know, this guy's from here and there. And this guy's got this story, he's a bounce back, whatever they want to call him. But you know, in the end, you guys are all you know rowing in the same direction. Talk a little bit about appreciating everybody's story and making sure you're trying to make everybody better. Yeah, I definitely do appreciate everybody's stories. I've heard a, a lot of stories and a lot of guys went through like different things, like being at such highs and then going to like a super low. It could be hard for some guys and yeah, I just, I don't know. But I'm, I'm just grateful to be playing with some of the like top tier like players in the country and like getting bumped with them, getting myself better because I wasn't a D1 guy out of high school, so it's definitely making me better. Like, Let's talk about the next level for you, what you're looking at. Uh, well, my dream as a kid was always to go to Penn State, so I'm still looking forward to doing that, but any school that's like willing to pick me up, like I would not be opposed to going. All right, so wide open right now and some unfinished business at Lackawanna. And as far as what you're going to carry with you from Coach Duda, is there something that he says or something that he does that you'll take with you the rest of your life? Yeah, uh, Coach Duda, it's just, it's just drive to win. Uh, I think that I'll take that with me the rest of my life. He, like, he's an amazing coach. Um, he's amazing, even amazing person. Like, just everything about him is just great. And, I, yeah, his drive to win is definitely something that I would take with me. 
All right, Chief. Good to hear your story. Go get him. Thank you.